children! My name is Lilith Karapetyan. This is the first video of course of mathematics. This course will consist of theoretical and practical parts. We'll start according to the program of Math AGCSE. This program is written by teachers of Cambridge University. Math AGCSE help you not only to learn math, but also to take international Cambridge exam. The first theme of our course is reviewing number concepts. We begin this video from the content. In this video we learn about multiples and factors, the lowest common multiple and the highest common factors. Then we speak about prime numbers and prime factorization. And the last question about using prime factorization for finding LCM and HCF of numbers. Ok, let's go to the first question about multiple and factors. A multiple is a result of multiplying this number by an any integer. So, factor of a number is a number that will divide this number exactly. For example, 5 multiplied by 4 equals 20. So, 20 is a multiples of 5 and 4. But 5 and 4 will be the factors of 20. Now we are solving some exercise. In exercise 1 you must find the multiples of 3. First you can write the first 3 multiples of 3. It means that you 3 multiplied by 1, then 3 multiplied by 2, and then 3 multiplied by 3. But you can 3 multiplied by this integer with negative thing. You get minus 3, minus 6 and minus 9. Then you can write the sequences. It's minus infinity, minus 9, minus 6, minus 3, 0, 3, 6, 9, plus infinity. So we know that 12 is not a multiple of 3. So we know that 12 is a multiple of 3. Because you can 3 multiple by 4 and get 12. But 7 isn't a multiple of 3. In next exercise you must find the multiple of 5. According to the exercise 1, you can write the sequences of multiples of 5. You get minus infinity, minus 10, minus 5, 0, 5, 10, 15 and plus infinity. 30 is a multiple of 5. So, you 5 can multiply by 6 and get 30, but 11 isn't a multiple of 5. In exercise 3, you must find the multiple of pi. You can say that is a multiples of anything. You must multiply by an integer, by the number that is being multiplied can be anything. So, we have minus infinity, minus 2 pi, minus pi, 0 pi, 2 pi, and plus infinity. In this exercise you must find the factors of 12. You can say that 1, 2, 3, 6, 12 are factors of 12. Because multiplying negatives make a positive, these factors of 12 with negative thin are also factors of 12. So all the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. And minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 6 and minus 12. Ok, we end the first question about multiples and factors. Next task about LCM and HCF. What is a common factor? We worked out the factors of two or more numbers. So, the common factors is a factor that is common for two or more numbers. Overall, we can say that HCF of numbers is the highest of all common numbers. Then we solve some exercise. In first exercise, you must find the common factor of 12 and 30. First, you find the factors of 12, then you find the factors of 30. You can say the common factors of 12 and 30 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. In exercise 2, you must find the common factors of three numbers. There are 15, 13 and 105. First, you find the factors of 15. Then, you find the factors of 30. 
and in last step you find the factors of 105. So the factors that are common to all three numbers are 1, 3, 5, 15. Besides, you can say that the highest common factor from these four common factors are 15. In exercise 3 you can see the theme for finds the HCF. First step, you find all the factors of each number. Then you circle the common factor and in step 3 you choose the greatest of those. So in, the, in this situation you can say that 4 is a HCF of 12 and 16. Next we talk about the common multiple. What is it? Multiples that are common to all given numbers named common multiples. In addition, LCM of numbers is the lowest from all common multiples. For example, we must find the common factors of 4 and 5. First, you find the multiples of 4. Second, we find the multiples of 5. The common multiples of 4 and 5 are 20, 40, 60 and others. In next exercise, you must find the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5. First, you list the multiples of each numbers. Then you find the common multiples. And third, you can say that 15 is the LCM of 5 and 3. So, we end the second question about the LCM and HCM of numbers. Next question about prime numbers and prime factorization. Prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors, one and itself. Prime factors are factors of a number that are also prime numbers. You can write any numbers as a product of prime numbers. But remember, one is not prime. So you cannot use it to write a number as a product of its prime factors. The process to find it which numbers multiplying together make an original number named prime factorization. So you can solve some problems. For instance, you can find the prime factors of 48. You can write 48 as product of 8 and 6. We write down 8 and 6 below 48. Now I continue and factor of 8 into 4 times 2, then 4 into 2 times 2, and lastly 6 into 3 times 2. We cannot factor anymore. So we have found the prime factors. Then we write 48 as a product of prime factors. Also, we can write this product using exponent as 48 equals 2 to the 4 times 3. We add the third question about prime numbers and prime factorization. In the last task, we learn about using of prime factorization for finding LCM and HCF. So, we solve some problems. In first problem, we must find the LCM and HCF of 18 and 30. Firstly, you write the numbers as a product of prime factors. 80 in 18 equals 2 times 3 to the 2. 30 equals 2 times 3 times 5. Then you create a Venn diagram for the factors. In the third circle, you can say the factors that belong to 18 only. In the second circle, you can say the factor that belong to 30 only. In the intersection part, there are factors belonging to both 30 and 18. Once we have the Venn diagram, finding the LCM is simply a matter of multiplying all the numbers in Venn diagram together. So, LCM equals 3 times 2 times 3 and times 5. It equals 19. To find the HCF, we multiply the numbers in the overlapping quadrant together. So, HCF of this number equals 6. In the second problem, we must find the LCM and HCF of 50 and 60. Firstly, you write the numbers in prime factor form. 50 equals 2 multiplied by 5 to the 2 and 6 and 16 equals 2 to the 4. Then we draw the Venn diagram. As both numbers have two as the factor, these go in the middle. The remaining factors go in their respective circles. 
LCM is found by multiplying all of the numbers in the Venn diagram together. So we have LCM of 15 and 16 equals 2 to the 4 times 5 to the 2. It equals 400. The HCF is found by multiplying together all of the numbers in the overlapping quadrant. As there is only one number present. So HCF equals 2. This is the last question of our video. In this video we study reviewing number concepts. Theoretical material and practice exercise you can find below the video. Thank you for your attention.